In Creole Parametric, you can use a Publish Geometry feature as part of top-down design to capture and identify the references in a model that you or someone else might want to use in another model. There are some changes to the Publish Geometry feature as a result of multi-body modeling and some of the interface enhancements. Let's take a look at that. So here I am in a skeleton model. Let me orient you to the model. Here I have my model tree on the left-hand side. So I've got some imported geometry and a datum plane and some curves and surfaces. And then I also have my design tree. This was added in Creole 8. And you can see that I have one quilt and this contains some surfaces from the helmet. I also have a number of bodies in the model. I can expand the bodies folder and you can see the list inside of here. And bodies are containers of solid geometry. In Creo 6 and earlier, I usually recommended against putting solid geometry in skeleton models. But now that you have multi-body modeling starting in Creo 7, hey, it is an absolutely fantastic idea to use solid geometry in skeleton models. So let's create a published geometry feature. We can do that the same way as before. You can go to the model intent overflow menu and here is the published geometry command. You can also go to the tools tab and you've got the published geometry command right in the ribbon. And the dialog box looks pretty much the same. Let's start at the bottom. I just want to identify some of the things that are not different since Creo 6 and earlier. You can still select annotations. You can still add references like datum planes, points, coordinate systems, axes, and so on. You can add edge chains to your published geometry feature, but there are three differences that we will cover in this video. First, for surface sets, you can select a surface set out of the design items folder. I can just grab this quilt right here. Now it is listed in the collector. Let's go to the properties tab. I always like to rename the features. I'm going to call it PG for published geometry. I'll say this is the helmet front and hit the enter key. That's good. Let's hit the check mark over here. And now if you take a look in the model tree, the published geometry feature appears in the footer. And this is the default starting in Creo 8. Your published geometry features will be in the footer instead of wherever they normally would appear in the main body of the model tree. There is a config.pro option that you can use if you don't want this behavior and you want to revert back to the pre-Creo 8.0 behavior. Let's go back to the model tab and take a look at a second difference. This time I will use the model intent overflow menu to get to the published geometry feature. And this time for surface sets, I am going to grab all the surfaces from the solid geometry in the model and the easy way to do that is by clicking on the details button next to the surface sets collector. And from here you can pick individual surfaces one by one if you want, but I will click the add button. And by the way, this surface sets dialog box, this was available before. It's just that you have an additional rule based selection. So let's start off by selecting a seed surface in here. And now there is an additional option here for surfaces of all bodies. And now it's grabbed all the different surfaces in here. Let's click the OK button. And then I'm going to use the Properties tab and rename this. I'm going to call this PGOML. This is my outer mold line. And then hit the check mark. So now I have a second published geometry feature in the footer. And let's create one more. I will go to the model intent overflow menu and then click on publish geometry. Probably the biggest change 
in the dialog box since Creo Parametric 7.0 is you can now select bodies that you want to include. So for example, I will select this body and then hold down the control key and select this other body. So I've selected a couple different bodies in here. Let's go to the properties tab. I will call this PG Torso. I will spell it correctly and hit the check mark. And now I have a third published geometry feature that contains those bodies. And be aware that when you create a published geometry feature, it can contain all these different objects. It can contain surfaces, bodies, edge chains, datum references, and annotations all within the same published geometry feature. So that is what is new in Creo 7.0 and later. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more information, please visit www.creowindchill.com. If you learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you like this video, please click the subscribe button and ring the bell to be informed when new videos are uploaded. Thank you very much.